Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Levi's Clothing Company is kissing the devil, and they are anti-gun, and in so they are alienating a large percentage of their customer base. They are donating up to a million dollars to Live Free, which is Gifford's group, and Every Town for Gun Safety. It doesn't end there. They are also matching their employees' donations to anti-gun groups, and they are paying up to five hours a month of volunteer time working in the efforts toward gun control for their employees. It doesn't even stop there. Then they started another section of Every Town called Every Town for Business Leaders where they will actually recruit other businesses to join in these efforts. Now, this is quite pathetic being that this is a clothing company. I do not know why they are jumping into this fight, but they are not just jumping in, but they're jumping in off the high dive. Like they are going all in and they feel like it's up to them to do something about this problem that we have in the U.S. It's interesting because every time somebody wants to do something about the problem, they don't talk about increasing security. They don't talk about other measures that would keep Americans safe. They want to restrict the rights of us law-abiding Americans in an effort to supposedly keep other Americans safe because us gun owners are so dangerous. Now, a lot of this started in 2016 when a, a, a concealed carrier had a negligent discharge in one of their stores. They sent out a memo saying, for our customers, we prefer that you not bring firearms into the stores and I was upset by that but I figured I'm not going to make a video about that they have the right to do whatever they want in their stores and they have a right to donate to whoever they want I'm not saying that they don't have a right but the question is is it right is it right for a clothing store to or a clothing company to jump in with this so-called crusade to alienate their customers and alienate other people. They don't come up with any other plan except for restricting the rights, and that's exactly what they are doing. And they're doing it on many fronts. So they say, don't bring guns into our stores, and then this evolved to two years later where they are donating big bucks for anti-gun groups. The NRA called for boycotts. Other people, other uh, gun rights groups are calling for boycotts. I'm calling for a boycott because the only way to stop people like this is to hit them in the bottom line where they realize they made a big mistake. It is my opinion that they are trying to reach out to what they consider the vast majority of Americans. Like, like these people actually think that most Americans agree with them and that the right wing wackos like us, even if you're not right wing, if you're a gun owner, you're categorized as a right wing wacko when the truth is we know the difference between self-protection and being a victim, but they won't see it that way. Nobody wants to increase security. No, nobody wants to come up with a way that we can really make Americans safer by keeping us armed and eliminating gun-free zones, that's out of the question. It's restrictions. It's it's restricting freedoms and restricting our rights to own a firearm. That is what they're fighting against. That is why I'm calling for a boycott, and that's why you'll never see Levi's on me ever again. Not that I ever wore them. I kind of think they went out with the 80s, but, but these jerks jumped in. Now they're headfirst in, and we'll have to hit them at the bottom line, and that is the best way that we could show our strength. And just one more thing. At times like this, it seems like we are losing the battle. You know, we see these groups and these companies get together, they're putting forth money, they're, they're doing this, they're doing that, it's making big media. The people on our side doesn't make the media. All right, it doesn't, we don't, we don't get this broadcast all over the place at how we are fighting these idiots. We, we just don't get that type of information as much as a company like Levi's or Dick's Sporting Goods where they get all the, the, the media attention, all the interviews, all the other people praising them, how they're so great and doing great things for America. They're not doing great things for America. That's why we should boycott, hit them in the pocketbook, hit them in the bottom line, and make them regret that they ever went down this road. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.